Hello folks, and welcome to the, f the field, my field, because I have a field, well it is, and my head's melted right now from writing software for the PCS controller, so I need a break, so I said let's go up the field and I'll show you what I have in the field, have some of these things. As you can see, they are, you know, located on one of these new and um, high-tech mountings called grass. Uh, yes, I am working on a proper mount for them, but with the old energy crisis going on, I kind of got sick of looking at the panels just sitting there stacked, figured let's mount them. Now. Where we are here, I'll turn the camera around for you, there's a lot of trees and an awful lot of trees and then when there's trees there's more trees. So having them on the ground like that is not ideal but the way I figured it, any energy is better than none. So. Let's go have a look and see what we have here. So it's kind of a mixed bag, as you would expect from me. Um, we have four panels here. These are uh, monocrystalline panels, so are much better suited to uh, getting energy from kind of overcast conditions versus direct sunlight. Or sorry, there's not, wait now, there's four of those and two more. Oh yeah, so there's then six monocrystalline panels. Those six are connected in series and are connected to our inverter in the power shed, which we will show you in a minute. Obviously, I've only used high quality solar cabling for this. Yeah, these four, are part of a bunch of them that were donated to me uh, quite recently by a very kind gentleman on the Open Inverter Forum. These are 230 watt polycrystalline panels. So you'll see they're a blue color versus the black color of these ones. Polycrystalline panels are uh, much better at creating energy. Uh, in direct sunlight. So if you're in a very sunny country like Spain or Lanzarote, these would be the ideal uh, panels for you to use. So these ones, these four, are connected. They're connected in series and they're then connected in parallel with another four that I'll show you down here. Oh, and I have started digging holes for, you know, posts and proper solar mount and stuff but then I figure I got to get the PCS sorted uh. okay so those four are connected in parallel with these four obviously only using high quality solar cabling and these two cables come into the workshop through very carefully constructed cable ducting and uh, into this guy this is a grid tie inverter. It is currently running at full whack here. Our two strings of panels are carefully paralleled into it using only appropriately colored wi wiring and solar rated connectors. Uh, this is a grid tie 600 watt inverter connected here to our AC power. So where is our AC power coming from? Well, there's another high quality solar cable here laid in a protective ducting uh, through all of the, um, the um, um, whatever you call that, down here, past the gray goose. Hey goose, goose. Coming down to the house 
and then the cable is of course brought through an um, anti-trip ducting into the power shed welcome to the power shed and here's our power system now on the wall here we have a second hand um, hybrid inverter rated supposedly to 5.5 kilowatts and I can pretty much say it's uh, it kind of is uh, we have a sexy display here telling us at the minute that our PV input is about 1.13 kilowatts so that is a combination of the six panels that we have up the, fi the fi field connected directly to it through this solar rated disconnect connector um, and obviously with this solar cable here and solar connectors and everything yes so anyway uh, it's also a combination of the power that we're drawing from the grid tie because the grid tie is, is at the minute doing its best to pump up the grid that this inverter is connecting and the inverter takes that and shoves it back in to the battery bank I'll get to that in a minute so also I have panels on the roof on the high quality solar roofing here I love the way they used a bit of a tree to um, form the roof here really um, good eco building um, techniques anyway <clears throat> where was I yes so there's three monocrystalline panels 400 watt up there they are I used to have a solar controller for them here but that exploded so I just connected them directly to the battery through a um, high quality DC rated circuit breaker um, so right now according to our high quality battery gauge we are pumping about just over one and a half kilowatts into our battery bank as well as running all of the house loads and the shed loads and all of that stuff directly from solar so we're battery charging and running the house and the workshop and i could probably even charge one of the cars if i wanted given what we're seeing here so anyway what we have here uh, are not lead acid batteries i know the the internet has a fascination with these things anytime that i show them in a video or talk about them everyone gumps on the bandwagon oh they're lead acid car batteries no they're not these are lithium iron phosphate uh 4s uh, nominally 12.8 volts each and are supposed to be about 130 amp hours at the minute we've got two strings of four si series paralleled uh, giving us about 10 kilowatt hours of storage I have two more here on this top tray and I hope to get two more that I could fit here and that would then give me about 15 kilowatt hours of uh, battery storage here so that is our little very quick very thrown together uh, solar system just did want to give you a tour oh and power to the house goes in through this 5 by 16 square uh, cable and um, that's it AC power goes in here uh, battery connects down there with those high quality battery connectors um, so that is our system at the minute oh no clouds ah, we're losing energy ah. anyhow um, that's it welcome that's our quick and simple solar system so here is the roof of the uh, power shed and I know the internet will have a canary when it sees me connecting the panels directly to the battery. So fear not, internet. There is a diode and a fuse in here as, as well. I may be crazy, but I'm only semi-crazy. And I've got to clean up all of this mess. Man, oh man. I never thought 
when I got this house that I would end up spending more time fighting trees and undergrowth and stuff. Who'd have thunk it? Now see, there I was, all set to edit this ridiculous video. And I realized I'd forgot the hot water system. So, say hello to my solar thermal tube thingies that I got for free or been taken down from someone's roof. Uh, so what I've done is I've set up them here, just on the back of the house, just for a very kind of a crude test. And I have to say it's been extremely good. Um, so this doesn't have any pumps or glycol or fancy temperature sensors or pressurized doodads in it. This is plain old thermosiphon. So what I did when I was putting the, the uh, frame in here was a very slight upslope on it. Don't know if you can see that, but it slopes up. And I changed from three quarter inch to one inch uh, pipe. So this is actually, that's water. <laughs> and the pipes go up around the side of the house here past Elon. Hello, Elon. Go up here with a slight rise on them all the time and go in through the side of the house and go on up there to a standard hot water cylinder, just a copper cylinder, vented system, nothing fancy. Obviously here being taken over by the weeds is my air to water heat pump that we'll be uh, messing with later on. But anyway, this right now obviously only gets the sun for the morning just because of the location. Uh, but it heats up, I think it's like a 140 litre cylinder or something like, like that in a very short space of time indeed. So, solar thermal and solar PV. So folks, hope you didn't enjoy that little tour of our solar power system. I'd love to stay and talk further, but unfortunately the, uh, the PCS calls. So, I'll leave you at that. As always, don't forget to dislike, do not share, unsubscribe and turn off notifications. And for pity's sake, don't support me on Patreon and PayPal and things like that because then I'll just get more of this kind of stuff and nobody wants that. Also, links in the description to GitHub, Open Inverter Forum, Good Enough Garage as well. I love that guy. And um, yes, so that's it. And until next time, happy energy crisising.